Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Joan Vasos says Pascal Agu couldn't ditch her fast enough. Joan Vasos reflected on her final date with Golden Baccalaureate suitor Pascal Agu. He self-eliminated and confessed to Joan that he wasn't in love with her. She revealed that he couldn't ditch her fast enough. Keep reading to find out what she meant. Joan Vasos says Pascal Agu couldn't ditch her fast enough. Joan Vasos narrowed her Golden Baccalaureate suitors from 24 to 3 in just a few weeks. Fans disagreed with her decision to send Jordan Heller home, but he seems to have landed on his feet with Joan's Golden Bachelor co-star, Leslie Fema. But not all three of Joan Vasso's final men were ready for a relationship. Her fantasy suite dates with suitors Chalk Chapel and Guy Gansard went down without any drama. However, Pascal I.B. bluntly told her before the fantasy suite that he wasn't in love with her and didn't feel comfortable continuing on the show. They had just spent the day on a date at a Tahitian bonding ceremony. Joan Vasos confessed to, to Entertainment Weekly that the ceremony was uncomfortable for both of them. She admitted that she felt something was off with Pascal, but chalked it up to it being a long and hot day. She said that Pascal couldn't get out of the ceremony fast enough. Joan thought they would talk it out during their overnight date, but Pascal had other ideas. According to Joan, his mind was made up to self-eliminate after the bonding ceremony. I was thinking this could be the end of us, that we would end up in fantasy suites and we would talk about, are we good? What is holding us back and are we going to get past it? And that one of us was going to make a decision that night that this wasn't going to work. He came with his mind already made up. Her true feelings for Pascal. But she told the outlet that she doesn't have any hard feelings about Pascal's departure. In fact, she could relate after having to eliminate some of the men every week. It makes me feel really bad. I know he felt really bad, and I didn't want him to, she said of the decision to go home. In a moment of truth, Joan Vasos revealed that she wasn't in love with Pascal at that point anyway. I hadn't gotten there yet. I knew that I needed to be careful with my heart with him. However, she did admit that his elimination hurt her feelings a little. The Golden Baccalaureate's Joan Vasos is no stranger to drama. From tearful rose ceremonies to steamy dances under moonlit skies, her journey for love has been nothing short of a roller coaster. But fans of the show were left clutching their pearls after Joan made a jaw-dropping claim about her suitor, Pascal Ivy. He couldn't ditch me fast enough, she declared in a candid post-show interview, her signature wit tinged with both heartbreak and a touch of fiery indignation. The golden glow fades. Joan, whose radiant energy has charmed viewers all season, was once smitten with Pascal. The French-born salon magnate seemed like the perfect match. Cultured, charming, and full of intrigue. Early on, their chemistry was palpable. Whether it was Pascal whispering sweet nothings in French or Joan melting under his swave, James Bond-like aura, they appeared to be the couple to beat. But behind the cameras, Joan hinted, cracks began to show. When we first met, Pascal swept me off my feet. Joan shared, her voice calm but resolute. He had this way of making you feel like the only person in the room. But somewhere along the way, I realized he wasn't just good at making me feel special. He was good at making everyone feel special. From roses to ruins, according to insiders, Pascal's commitment issues were a recurring theme throughout filming. While Joan hoped their connection would deepen as the competition narrowed, she instead found herself questioning his intentions. It felt like he was auditioning for the role of the perfect partner, Joan explained. But when the cameras stopped rolling, I could sense the distance. This tension came to a head during the hometown dates. Pascal invited Joan to his opulent Los Angeles estate, the sprawling villa with modern architecture and infinity pool overlooking the Hollywood Hills. By all appearances, it was a picture-perfect setup for romance. Yet Joan recalls feeling out of place. The house was stunning, sure, but it felt more like a showroom than a home, she said. It was as if I was visiting a set, 
not getting a glimpse into Pascal's real life. The tipping point came when Pascal introduced Joan to his close-knit circle of friends. What should have been an intimate evening turned into a networking event, complete with champagne toasts and industry talk. Joan, always one to read between the lines, felt like she was being paraded around as a trophy. He called me captivating in front of everyone, which sounds lovely, doesn't it? But it felt rehearsed, like I was just another accessory to his glamorous life, Joan said. The breakup bombshell, the final straw, according to Joan, came during their one-on-one -on -one date leading up to the penultimate rose ceremony. The two were seated at a romantic candlelit dinner when Joan decided to confront Pascal about his hesitations. I asked him point-blank if he saw a future with me, Joan recalled, her voice trembling slightly, and he couldn't give me a straight answer. Instead, he said something like, the future is uncertain, but the present is beautiful. It was poetic, sure, but it wasn't what I needed to hear. That night, Joan reportedly left the date in tears. The next morning, Pascal requested a private meeting with her, away from the cameras. It was then, Joan revealed, that he ended things. He told me I was amazing but that he didn't think he could give me what I deserved. Honestly, it felt like a cop-out, Joan said, her tone steely. If he wanted to leave, fine. But the way he did it made me feel like I wasn't worth fighting for. Pascal's side of the story. Pascal, for his part, has remained relatively tight-lipped about the breakup. In a brief statement during the reunion special, he described Joan as a remarkable woman, but admitted to feeling overwhelmed by the intensity of their connection. I never intended to hurt Joan, Pascal said, his usually confident demeanor replaced with a hint of remorse. She's incredible, but I realized that my heart wasn't fully in it and I didn't think it was fair to lead her on. While some viewers applauded Pascal for his honesty, others criticized him for waiting so long to bow out. Social media erupted with hashtags like hashtag Team Joan and hashtag Ditch Pascal. As fans rallied around the heartbroken baccalaureate, Joan's next chapter. Despite the disappointment, Joan remains optimistic about her journey. Look, not every love story has a happy ending, and that's okay, she said during her interview. What I've learned through this process is that I'm stronger than I ever gave myself credit for, and I refuse to let one man's indecision define my worth. In true Joan fashion, she ended the interview with a playful jab at Pascal. If he couldn't handle all of this, she said, gesturing to herself with a wink, then he wasn't the right man for me anyway. Rumors are already swirling that Joan has been approached for several post-show opportunities, including a possible book deal and a guest appearance on a popular daytime talk show. When asked about her plans, Joan teased, I've got a few things up my sleeve. Let's just say this isn't the last you've seen of me. Fans react. The internet has been ablaze with reactions to Joan's candid revelations. Some fans commended her bravery in speaking out while others took Pascal to task for what they perceived as a lack of maturity. She deserves someone who sees her as the main character, not a supporting role, one fan tweeted. Another wrote, Pascal had the chance to date a queen and fumbled it. His loss, Jones' gain. Even some former Golden Bachelor contestants chimed in, expressing their support for Joan. She's the real deal, one said. Anyone who doesn't see that is blind. Will Pascal regret it? As for Pascal, only time will tell if he comes to regret his decision. While Joan is poised to soar to new heights, Pascal faces the challenge of repairing his public image. When asked if she thought Pascal might one day have second thoughts, Joan didn't hesitate. Maybe, she said with a sly smile. But by then, I'll be long gone, living my best life. And just like that, Joan proved once again why she's not only the star of the Golden Bachelorette, but a star in her own right.